Hey everyone, welcome. I am going to do a chatty video here and I'm going to be journaling in my A5. I told you I was gonna make some more journaling videos just so that you could see how I operate. I've been behind and I think I've just been behind because I've just been busy and um, I'm wanting to journal, but it's like, I almost feel like I hardly can journal because I've just been so busy with a lot of stuff. So school started this week. I'm actually filming this on Wednesday and I wanted to update this. I couldn't do it last night because I didn't have the right pen. So whenever I start off with a thin pen, I don't want to jump up to a like thicker pen or thicker nib pen um, because it just, I, it's, I just don't like the way it looks. So you can kind of tell a little bit that the pen was different on this side, but um, as I flip through the pages, I like to try to be consistent. Like here, I did go to like a lighter pen, but I feel like it's not as noticeable as when you start off with a lighter, thinner pen, and then you end up with a thicker pen. I feel like you, you could tell. And actually lately I've been using my gel pens the past month or so. And I want to get back into my fountain pen, but um, I don't know. I don't know what's stopping me. Uh, oh, also I've noticed that with this pen, I finished it. So it's empty. It's like my first uni ball pen that's empty. So I'm gonna, I have to throw that one away. Also, I did get some new things from Toku Betsu Memory, Sumemori, and I got some more washi tape, but these are samples. I ordered the samples and I ordered a notebook, Traveler's Company notebook, because I think I want to use a Traveler's notebook I don't know, I think in place of an A6 for journaling, I think. I don't know, I have been buying traveler's notebooks in different types of paper. I guess I have this urge to want to use traveler's notebooks. So this is one of the ones that I got and it's pretty interesting because I um, just happened to think that it would have good paper. I haven't tested it with any fountain pens, but this is what the paper looks like on the inside. It's actually pretty cool. And um, so I'm really excited to use it. I'm not, I think it would be really good to use it for like a calendar since it's already squared off, but I do not intend to use it that way. Right now I just have it as an idea book because I come up with ideas in my head and when I don't write them down, I forget them later and I get upset with myself. So, so far this is the pen test I've done. And actually now that I have you guys here with me, let's just do it together. So, since this is more chatty, um, I will be doing some journaling so you'll see that and these are the fountain pens I currently have inked up along with the ones in here which is no different than the last time I I shared that information with you guys so I've been loving my custom 823 and I've been writing with it a lot more after I put blue ink in it. Um, sometimes I have this love-hate relationship with blue anything and then other times I'm just I I adore it and it's something that I'm missing and I realize when I start using blue again uh, no matter like what it is I feel at home so let me zoom you guys in and this is my Pilot Custom Eight Two Three, and I'm not going to begin to try to figure out what inks I'm using because I'm really bad with that. 
but it's a blue ink from Robert Oster. Kawako. So this is the brass Kaweco or Kaweco. And I think I just have a cartridge in here. So nothing fancy, it's just black ink. And I did change out the ink in my Santini Italia. And I want to say this may just have the same ink that's in my custom 823. But you can see how bold of a line it puts down. And then my Pilot Custom 74. Right? Yes. And if you want to get a good feel for potentially getting a Pilot Custom A23, I would suggest trying the, the 74 first. It's very similar. It's just that the A23 is like quite a bit heavier, but um, they, I feel like they write pretty similarly to me. And I'm only going to do a couple more. So we have my Omas. Omas, I'm sorry, Opus. And this is in a broad nib. It writes perfectly fine. I haven't used this pen in a while. And then let's try the manuscript pen. Let's see. And let's see how that works. Oh yeah, so really nice paper. It takes the pen, fountain pens well. There's no feathering. It takes anything from really large to really small, tiny pens. So even um, I used my Energel Klena on here as well in the point three. And let's see, let's try, I have another Energel. This is in the 0 0.5. All right, so I feel like the paper is actually quite thick, but it takes fountain pens really well. So I'm not really sure what paper this is. All I know is that I like it a lot. And if you like to use your fountain pens, as much as I do, I'm pretty sure you would probably enjoy this as well. So enough about this. That is a new notebook that I started recently. I also have some of these other goodies. Actually, I haven't even looked through these. We can do it together. She sent me a note and I wanted to stick this inside of my new notebook. 
This are, well, these are the papers that came with the notebook. I think they're kind of like, um, you can probably use as blotting sheet, blotting paper. Oh no, these are perforated. Oh, so you can use them inside. It's called keep a notebook. And it says keep a notebook, travel with it, eat with it, sleep with it. Slap into it every stray thought that flutters up into your brain. Cheap paper is less perishable than gray matter and lead pencil markings endure longer than memory. Hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. So I just keep those in the book. And she also sent me some extra little envelopes that I can probably journal with. And then she sent me some goodies, which I actually haven't opened yet. So a bunch of little stickers. have some cute stickers and I would probably put these in so these would definitely be things that I would put in my monthly spread Ooh, I like this these are let's see if you will focus yeah these are stamps of books or maybe movies but they're really large. And they're stickers. That's cool. So a couple of those, even some more. And then I think these are her um, like icons on Instagram. And then we have some little cute notes, cards, and an envelope. So a bunch of little goodies, and then, ooh, oh, she sent me, oh, these are cool. These are super large PET tapes, and this one, oh, how fun. I like it. Okay. So I don't think I've actually used all of her last goodies that she sent me. She sends a lot of extras. So these are nice too, just papers. You can write a note on or just add to your journal. And then what else? I they Everything came like this in this really pretty package. And then I got a roll of washi. Oh, so let me scoot this aside. So this was one of them. I actually haven't opened it yet. So these are not individual like washi stickers within the washi tape. You actually have to cut these out, um, but you can definitely be really creative with it. And it's a long piece of washi that she gives you as like her sample. So I think it was like a probably $2 for that. And also this one. And it kind of makes sense if you don't see yourself using, oh, this one's really pretty. And there, it's like PET tape. You cut them out. And this was a couple dollars as well. I would, I can see myself using this over and over again, depending on what I'm using it for. So I would consider even getting this as a washi roll because you can use this so many different times in so many different ways. And then this one. And the reason for me purchasing this is because, oh, this is small. <laughs> That's all I got for a couple dollars. Um, 
definitely smaller than the others, but um, it's just a sample. I knew I was paying for a sample. The nice thing about samples, it kind of lets you know whether or not you really want to get the whole washi roll. But I don't think, like lately, PET tape samples or washi rolls have had a lot, a ton of images, and they don't repeat very often. So the only roll I ended up getting was a roll that I got washi samples from. This is the Peon roll. I can't remember the exact name, but the artist is Peon, I think. And this roll has so much, it's like washi stickers within the washi tape. So I'm trying to wait for the repeated pattern. So from here to here is the pattern that will repeat and yeah I mean I feel like you get a lot and plus I really like these little stickers here because you just peel them off and then you can stick them anywhere so it looks like that it's just like a little two dot sticker okay so let us or let me just share with you my thoughts as I go through an update. Also, you can see I've kind of changed the way I look at a monthly spread and I really like it looking like this. Busy, but also really interesting. And certain things like grab my attention. Like every time I flip to this page, I always see this piece um, of the Patreon rewards. And I always see this one as well. But then when I look closer, I look at some of my other little stickers and some of the things that we, as my family have done throughout the month. And the same for this one. So since I already took the sticker off, I could stick it just about anywhere. It's also a little bit see-through. So if I had writing, I probably would be able to see underneath it if I layered it over like that. And the cool thing about these is that um, I really like the PET tapes that actually have like images, like separate images and not one big image because then you can just cut them out and use it throughout your journal spreads. So our house has a, well, the last owner had a gardener who does come um, or has came to kind of, you know, fix some of our plants and um, a lot of the flowers that we saw when we first got the house died before we moved in <laughs> because of the heat. And so he came out quite a few times to help us because the sprinkler system wasn't working. And um, we, so he was able to get that corrected. And then most recently we saw him early, early in the morning. It was actually a little bit weird. We were kind of a little freaked out because we didn't even realize he was here. Um, apparently, it was early in the morning, it was like six o'clock in the morning and we happened to be waking up the boys for school because it was the first day of school on Monday. And my husband opened the blinds and realized there was someone parked in our, like right up on our street in front of our home. And we were kind of like, who is that? And I said, oh, it looks like the gardener's car. Even though I didn't know he was gonna be there and I didn't know he was actually out there, but apparently he was and he came at like, 5 30 in the morning to fix an issue that we didn't even realize we had so um but we were only able to figure that out when my husband looked up the image from our uh our cameras our outdoor cameras
And I'm finding that in some cases you can actually write over the PET tape, like with a gel pen. Um, I'm just gonna write filming today. And I like to build on the monthly calendar as time progresses. So I will pick like stickers here and there when um, after like a few days go go by. So I want to get into my weekly. And I want to decorate it just a little talk about let me fill in the things that we've done so far today take my kids to school and then I worked I also ended up ordering the um, the new postcards. And I drew like some artwork last night for whatever reason. <laughs> Not sure why. Um, I do want to add a few things here and there. So should I go with, I'm gonna go with the phone and the clock. And typically, this is how I like to decorate, by adding little images within the spacing of my planning or documenting. And then in here. The tricky thing is to getting the PET tape off, like the backing off, because they're really smooth. All right. I can tell that the weather is slowly changing and getting a little bit cooler, especially here in Vegas. So lately I've been wanting to wear like something warm and cozy. And I usually wear socks around the house, but since it's been extremely hot this um, this summer, I rarely wear socks unless I'm like going out with tennis shoes and going to walk. Actually I think I think I'm just gonna use this whole sheet because this is exactly how I've been feeling this week. Adjusting to my kids new schedule um, is quite difficult. Not just for them, but for me and my husband as well. I know a lot of people find 
cutting things out like this quite therapeutic. And I guess I would feel the same way, but somehow I hold my um, scissors kind of awkwardly to where I grip them as if I'm trying to write with a ballpoint. Like I grip them super tight and they actually hurt <laughs> every time. So I think I'm gonna put her here because that's exactly how I've been feeling. Perfect. Um, okay, so I think that's, oh wait, forgot about this guy. Oh, this can definitely fit. Um, maybe right here. Okay, so there's not really much to that. I don't try to overthink it. I just slap it down. And I'm actually not very picky with it. Oh, I forgot to mention, these are the other samples I got. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I did pay for these. So these are just regular washi tapes that are samples that I paid for. And so she put them on like a plastic card. Um, now because I can't really remember what's happened on these days and this is back in July. So I'm just gonna use this washi tape. Cause it's big and pretty. So let's put these on here. Wow, that's really gorgeous. And then I can just write a little snippet about it, even though it didn't happen on this day. This one's really pretty. And it has some interesting texture on it. Let's see this one. This one has some pretty illustrations. And they're all in some type of glass jar, which is pretty cool. So let's put you okay, so it's a little bit big. I'm gonna cut this part off. Just put you down there. That's cool. I should have got this in a washi roll. Just want to show you a little bit closer. And this one's really pretty too. All right. Let me. Oh, let's print my printer because I do have some images that I am ready to put on here or stick in my notebook, which is why I do always, like if I know I have a picture, I will leave space. So there's space from this day that I decided to keep for here and I'm gonna print that out right now.
first one I wanted to put on here. And this thing is going to keep going because I have a couple in queue. nothing gets obstructed and I have the ability to do that I do want to put something here maybe one of these let's see thank you This one because they're wearing blue. There. All right. It's been a while since I've done a tip in. And then we can get into this side. And I've been thinking about doing a some type of drawing. Definitely a day to wear sunglasses. Um, but it was a lot cooler. And I did see a couple of flowers sprouting in our bed in our flower bed and if you have trouble doing the writing freehand definitely get a pencil so I want to do a cursive bold font just make sure that you have your letters spaced out so you can see that it's really light so I can erase afterwards and then take a fine liner and then you just go slowly around the words now I don't do this very often and I still messed up because I forgot the cross on the T but you get the idea and again, it probably would have been better executed had I really prepped out the spread. Okay, so sometimes it's nice to put like a different colored sheet and then that you can write over all of it. I just want to make sure that the sheets are fountain pen friendly. Yeah, I think that they are. And I think I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, which is take out my watercolor and I need to get a some water. I'm going to start off with a red and I accidentally put in yellow 
but what I wanted to do was transition to a pink and then we can go from like a burnt sienna to a yellow. Oh no, this is yellow ochre. So it's more of like a burnt yellow. Just a little bit of shadow. All right, so I do want to draw something else and I'm trying to think. I'm gonna draw my bag, my journaling bag because that was what I had with me last night. I'm contemplating whether or not I should color it in and I think I'm not going to, but I will draw some washi rolls because I brought like seven different washi rolls with me upstairs and I did not use one of them. I just wanted them with me. <laughs> they look like little toilet papers. And I don't mind painting these in, so let's do that. All right, so I did just a little bit here. Oh, let's add a little shadow. Okay, so I think I'm just going to leave it here and then fill in all the part that you probably don't really care to see. And yeah, so this video was super long. I'm, you know, it takes me a couple tries to really get better. And so hopefully my journaling videos would, won't be so long and, um, or maybe they will be really long, but like full of content, full of things for me to say. I know I'm kind of awkward sometimes, so. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys still enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.